we looked at you know harmony of self with body so what would be a program to have this self regulation and to have the health in the body so we'll look at the program uh, in a little bit of detail so i won't go through all this uh, i think we have a reflection here bhaiya this slide we had already covered so um, you know it is just mentioning that when we have the feeling of responsibility in the self towards the body then it leads to health in the body and when we say health in the body we say that the body acts according to the self and the parts of the body are in harmony in order so how many of us agree with this meaning of health or can we shouldn't say agree but how many of us can understand the meaning of health through all of this what we have mentioned uh, we can see that so the vast majority 85% of you strongly agree and the other 13% also agree and there is a very minimal uh, others who are not able to see that okay going further the if you look at this feeling of self regulation what is the program how it leads to health in the body so if we see here what we are talking about is that the body is already an orderly system it is already in harmony this you can appreciate from when we are born the vast majority of children are born healthy barring a few cases the vast majority are born healthy so there is a certain definite harmony in the body it is an orderly system which has a definite conduct and the cells there are you know trillions of cells in the body they are all working together in harmony with each other they are participating along with each other to form larger and larger structures tissues organs organ systems all that so the body is already in harmony so what do i have to do the self has to just maintain that harmony continue that harmony at least not disturb that harmony so that we can do when we have feeling of responsibility towards the body and we'll do whatever is needed to fulfill that responsibility so that there is health in the body so two points that we are making here one is that the body is already self organized it is in harmony it has a definite conduct and the role of the self is its responsibility towards the body any question about this particular slide or you know this lecture we can take that the reflection is in front of you that the body is an orderly system and it's my responsibility to ensure the health of the body you can uh, answer this meanwhile there is a, a raised hand we'll take the question so yeah if you can pass the mic around i am not able to didi actually yes i am doing the needful didi वसंती जी वसंती वासी रेड्डी जी यू मे जस्ट अनम्यूट प्लीज दीदी मे बी आई एम नॉट ऑडिबल टू वसंती जी या वसंती जी इफ यू हैव अ क्वेश्चन यू कैन अनम्यूट योर माइक एंड स्पीक perhaps it's a mistake that's okay, okay. we'll go ahead ji so what would be the program for staying healthy you are all familiar with this slide also what is being proposed is that we make sure that we are following a proper intake a routine which is you know in sync with the natural rhythm 
do some labor and exercise, some postures for regulating the organs and some amount of regulated breathing. And we can then go into, you know, if required, medicine and treatment for the body. So we look at this in a little bit of detail. So if we look at the intake, so we generally think of intake as food, but intake also includes not just food, but water, air, sunlight. In fact, like we mentioned earlier, all that we take in through our sense organs. So everything we hear, smell, touch, taste, see, all of that is considered intake. When it comes to food, if we want the food to lead to health in the body, this food should be, first of all, nurturing for the body. So there, the role of the self comes in. The responsibility of the self, the awareness in the self, to see what kind of food choices we are making. Are we making the choices of food that are nurturing for the body? Or are we just making food choices based on our like and dislike of taste of the food? That is something to see. Then the food should also be digestible by the body. So again, responsibility of the self, awareness in the self of how much to eat. So when there is sensation of fullness, I should stop eating. I should not keep eating just because it's tasty. Otherwise, it's going to damage. Similarly, you know, taste, we are always looking at. Compatibility with body type, I won't go into that in more detail. You know, one can look at the health lectures to find out more detail. And the waste should be excretable by the body. So foods that are rich in fiber, so fruits, vegetables, so on. Similarly, intake of water, fresh air, sunlight, and all the intake through the sense organs. So whenever we are seeing something, whenever we are hearing something, whatever intake we are taking in, we are also generating certain feelings and thoughts in response to that, as a result of that. So are we aware of that? Because that is again going to impact, you know, whether this, what we take in is going to be nurturing for the body or not nurturing for the body. So, um, you know, if we are arguing while eating, we are watching TV, watching violent shows and so on, we are generating a lot of uh, uh, feelings and thoughts which are not in line with our natural acceptance. Yes. So here you can um, ask yourself this, my intake supports the health of the body. You can answer it honestly for yourself. Uh, what kind of intake we are taking? Yes, no, that we can answer for ourselves. Any questions on this in relation to the intake? We can pick it up. Shashi Kanji. Yes, Shashi Kanji, you have some questions? Ah, yes, I, I was uh, just wondering about, because we are speaking about universal human values and therefore this particular topic of uh, body and health also is in relevance to the universal human. Because there are plenty of uh, variety in habits of the people in different parts of the world. How can we define uh, universal uh, common uh, phenomenon or uh, theory about what will be ideally right? Second thing is, yeah. particularly in Indian environment, we get the things cooked and uh, we add a lot, lot of spices and so many things. Uh, many a times, naturally, majority of the animals go for uh, naturally existing plants or their food habits of uh, raw meat of the animals. Why human being only requires this uh, spicy or oily and other things to eat? Thank you, ma'am. That was the question. Yeah. Uh, so when it comes to spices, you know, does the human being require all the spices to eat or are we adding a whole lot of spices for taste? If you look at, you know, the use of spices traditionally, every spice is almost a, got a medicinal value to it. Every spice, uh, if used rightly, can be nurturing for the body. So some of the spices are therapeutic. They take care of minor ailments. You know, if you look at home remedies, many spices can be used like home remedies 
to take care of ailments, provided we use them wisely. Today, what is happening is we are using spices more for taste. So we are just adding spices so that the food becomes tasty. In that case, we may be not taking care of nurturing the body. We may be again going after taste. So that awareness we need to have. Otherwise, spices can be good. Spices need not be bad for consumption. That is one part. The other question was, can you repeat it? Yeah, it, it was regarding universe ability because yeah, we yeah. are we are already seeing yes. uh, Chinese eating very very strange food, and uh, yeah. Europeans uh, having a lot of uh, uh, maybe wine and other stuff. Is it the need of yeah. their environment, climate that has made them to be uh, having those particular habits? And if it is so, yeah, then me... are not, uh, having a generalized policy for the uh, universal human. Yeah, let me just uh, clarify a few things. So universal is what, even at the level of the self, our imagination is varied, isn't it? My imagination is different from somebody else's, can be different from a third person's and so on. At the level of the natural acceptance of the self, that is something that is universal. There we can see that yes, everybody has the same sort of natural acceptance what the natural acceptance, you know, what we want, everybody for everybody is the same. So do we want health in the body? That part is universal. You ask anybody, whether European, whether American, whether Indian or whoever, African, anybody you ask, do you want health in the body? Yes, they want health in the body. That part is universal. But when it comes to the physical part, when it comes to the body, now there can be different types of body types. There can be um, different requirements for the different body types. So there there will be, when it comes to the expression of this health in the body, there can be a whole lot of variety. So for instance, you know, uh, one can have health in the body in the North by eating chapati. One can have health in the body in the South by eating rice. Both, there is no right or wrong. Both can be used for that universality of health in the body. But the expression of this, when it comes to the material expression part, that can vary. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. In particular, uh, for the Chinese See, food again, that uh, we have seen recently, it was yeah. Uh, very, very... Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. What I would like to say is, you know, when the self doesn't have the right understanding, then we may make a lot of wrong choices also. Not to say that everything that is happening is right today. A lot of wrong choices are being made and consequences of that become visible sooner or later. But uh, you know, if you look at the universal part, the want that we have, we all want to have the healthy body. How we go about it, whether we are making the right choices, that depends on the understanding in the self. Why to talk of China, even in India, you know, if we are eating a whole lot of fried food, even if we are having a whole lot of, uh, you know, nurturing food or, you know, foods that are uh, meant to be healthy, if we cook them with a whole lot of masala, spices, oil and all, now it becomes unhealthy. So the understanding in the self is uh, paramount importance, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. So um, there are a couple more hands raised, but we'll go forward in the interest of time. And after the session, if there is time permitting, we can take up more questions. So if you look at our daily routine, now if you look at nature, our daily routine should be in line with what is happening in nature. If we are aware of it, if we understand it, we will bring it in line. If we are not aware of it, then you know we'll be going in all different ways. So if you look at the routine in nature, or if you look at the rhythm in nature, I should say. So there is a daily circadian rhythm. There is a day-night cycle. Every time the earth rotates on its axis, the part that is in front of the sun receives sunlight, the other part is in darkness. And we are going through this every single day. Accordingly, there are some changes in the material part, you know, in the material units. 
So similarly, there are changes under, uh, that the body also undergoes. For instance, the digestive fire is at its peak during midday. The digestive fire is lowest during early morning and late night. So accordingly, we can make changes in our diet. We can eat you know, our biggest meal in the afternoon. We can eat very, very light in the night. And early morning can also be light breakfast and so on. I won't go into a lot of detail. Similarly, there is a monthly rhythm where you have a lunar rhythm. So the body responds to the lunar cycle also. It is, uh, you know, you can see the menstrual cycle in women. It is uh, an example of that. Similarly, the Ekadashi fast that is linked with, you know, the fasting three to four days before the new moon and the full moon and so on. There are many examples of that. So we can become aware of these rhythms in nature and with that understanding, make some changes in our lifestyle, in our daily routine, so that it blends, it gels, it is in sync with these natural rhythms. Similarly, there are annual seasonal rhythms. The body responds to the various seasons in a year in a particular way. Here, you know, the earth, is revolving around the sun and in that process because of the tilted axis of the earth you will get the seasons so you will find that in nature with the various seasons certain plants that are complementary for that season are available in the winter you have vegetables which are dry which are uh, you know warming for the body they are available naturally in the winter in the summer you have vegetables grow naturally those vegetables which are watery in nature juicy uh, they provide cool you know coolness to the body like cucumber and so on of course when we don't understand that and for taste we are growing all kinds of vegetables all year round then we don't follow this and then we are eating all kinds of foods in all different seasons so an understanding of this similarly you have a life cycle body rhythm in childhood is the period of growth of formation in the youth, you just have to go through maintenance. There's no active growth, no active formation. So you don't need that much protein in the body. In childhood, more protein is required. As you grow you know, an adult, you just need to maintain what is there. You don't need that much protein. No new tissues are being formed. Similarly, in old age, is mostly a period of degeneration. So you have to drop down. Not only the protein, the grain also should come down and so on. So all this, you know, maintaining a lifestyle in sync with the rhythms in nature, this is important. Um, we can do this uh, uh, reflection. There is scope for improvement in my routine. We can answer this. And while we are doing that, if anybody has questions on this particular, uh, what we just talked of, we can take that. Anita Maniji has raised her hand. Do you have a question related to this? Not this, ma'am. It was a, for the earlier one, not this one. Okay, we'll take it later then. Yes, ma'am. Um, uh, no, Didi. Meenu Ji. Ji, namaste, Didi. Namaste. Didi, uh, can you please elaborate on the annual seasonal rhythm? Didi, yeah, I so, to ask is that season to season we are required to align ourselves. Does it mean that? We'll make some changes in our diet. Like for instance, we'll take a simple example like I just gave, you know. When it is winter time, mm -hmm. uh, we need to have more heat in the body because it's cold outside. So nature has provided us with vegetables that naturally grow in winter. These are mostly dry vegetables that heat the body. So we can use those vegetables that are naturally available in the winter time, like that naturally grow, not something that we are artificially growing, like cauliflower, cabbage, carrot, beans, those kind of things. Yeah. In the summer, you have more of those that are um, watery, which are cooling for the body. So in the summer, we can use things like, you know, those loki, turai, those kind of the good vegetables, cucumbers, those kind of things, which are more watery, more cooling for the body. Similarly, uh, you know, different seasons, we can have different 
uh, routines like uh, uh, you know in the winter we can do lots of physical activity and generate heat in the body in the summer especially in the daytime when it is hot we don't want to be very physically active outside we can uh, you know uh, do more indoor activity or more uh, you know be outdoors only at cooling time and so on at the cool time and so those are simple examples that we can see and that can be taken to a, a you know deeper level you know as our understanding grows ji thank you didi ji so um in this uh, reflection there is scope of improvement uh, it's nice to see that uh, majority of you have agreed to this that means that we do see that we can make some changes in our routine for better health of the body so with that we'll uh, go forward if you look at this daily routine this is just an example um i don't want to go into too much detail in this but you will be able to see from this example that there are certain uh, you know times in the day when things are um, sort of uh, times are conducive for us like waking up time approximately one and a half hours before sunrise cleansing time is early morning by just before or little after 6 breakfast has to be early lunch time around noon when your digestive fire is maximum dinner time early and so on i don't want to get into it you can look at the health lectures in the youtube uh, they have more detail about this so and bedtime early so similarly you can uh, you know we talked of labor and exercise so here we are just mentioning that labor means working with nature to produce physical facility so it also keeps the body healthy by ensuring adequate movement of the body so there's you are taking care of health of the body plus there is production of physical facility even if you are not working with nature you can think of other things like you know um, running errands cycling to the college and back sweeping your room house hostel whatever and when it comes to exercise there is just adequate movement of the body leading to health in the body but there is no production of physical facility there so one can do you know various things exercising jogging cycling and so on postures for regulating the organs and regulated breathing the examples in our tradition are yoga and pranayam you have various examples like in um uh, this uh, in chinese medicine you have tai chi and so on so one can look at those and ultimately if the body is really despite all this goes into some disharmony then you can take some home remedies like we talked of spices there are many many spices in our uh, rich tradition which we can use and then of course integrated systems of medicine are there we can use any of those ultimately treatment we are referring to where a drug or machine is trying to perform a body function which means the body is so far gone into disharmony that it cannot be corrected then we go for uh, these kind of options so like insulin for diabetes di dialysis for kidney failure and so on ventilators for lungs and all that so in this uh, we are able to see that if we just focus on one that means one a and one b that in itself will take care of the vast majority of problems one proposal is that you even just take care of one a intake routine labor that itself will take care of many things but if you need to add on you can add on exercise all this postures and breathing part and that will take care of most of the health problems so in today's world we think that we need to accumulate lot of money so that in our old age we may have to go to the hospital we may have this we may have that if we take care of this uh, you know if we understand this how we can take care of the health of the body if we put that as priority we may not need so much of physical facility for taking care of our health in fact 
we will find that this can take care of health better in most cases than the medication which ties to just you know put down the symptoms it's like a lot of times a band-aid covering the wound but the wound is not healing so we are just covering up the wound with some band-aid so we don't see the wound but actually the process is not getting solved inside many a times it's like that so um, we need to become aware of this um, can we have this reflection now there's a reflection here bhaiya Ji. So, uh, you can answer this. I would like to follow the program of self-regulation. And of course, if you want more details about this, they are available in the YouTube uh, ESIP uh, lectures that were done. So, one can look at that. Seema Patel ji, you had a question. Uh, hello. Uh, yes. The my question was that uh, uh, there are certain people working uh, for overseas, and their timings and the timings in India are uh, in total contradiction. So suppose uh, you know you're working all night uh, to uh, you know uh, coordinate with their day timings. But then um, how in such a situation can one manage their circadian rhythm or, you know, the uh, body clock of uh, body clock? Uh, yes. How, how can one do that? Yeah. So here again, we are making some choices and there is a trade-off. Definitely there is a trade-off. If we do this short term, the body can bounce back. If we are doing it long term for long while, you know, years and years, if we are putting the body through this, then there is definitely going to be a repercussion and it is going to lead to a disharmony in the body, which may become, you know, uh, permanent at some point. So we need to strike a balance again. We need to see, you know, um, this may not be the best choice if we look at health. So we may have to look at other options in terms of jobs. Again, like I, I say it again, that, you know, we have set up those systems in society and we need to change those and look at things holistically and try to strike a balance where, you know, we are taking care of all aspects, not just one or two. So ultimately, we are the ones who are choosing, we are making these choices and we have the ability to change those choices accordingly. That's what I would say at this point. Thank you, Ji. Um, so we can see that, you know, here also the answers, many of us are able to see that, yes, these, these kind of programs would be good for the health of the body. Anita Maneji will take your question and then we'll move on. Do you have a question on this or? Uh, not on the uh, ma'am. Uh, what oh, okay. uh, you were saying right now was similar because in the morning, uh, me and my daughter were speaking. She today same yes. question she had asked me in the morning. He, if I change yes. the cycle, I like to study in the evenings. I like to uh, work whole night and morning. If I sleep, is it okay? The same mm -hmm. questions what you were explaining to me right now. She had asked me in the morning. I said that does not go according to our culture. She said, it is true mm -hmm. that you will be coming and when I'll be sleeping, that won't look good. People will not say good. So, but that is more better for me. That is, was a question. So I didn't give her a reply that time. I hope, I think I'll be able to give some reply to her now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. If you see, you know, many of the corporate jobs, uh, this issue is there and you will find that many corporate jobs, there is a very rapid turnover because children join these places with a whole lot of enthusiasm and then they find things are not working out. So they a lot of times quit and they go into other options. There are always other options. There are always options of working for oneself, choosing one's timings and all those things. So one has to consider you know, everything and see that you're making choices and uh, you know, what is priority based on that we make choices, yes. Thank you, ma'am. I think I'll be able to explain. Anna. 
जी जी थैंक यू थैंक यू सो टू सम सेल्फ एंड बॉडी कैन बी इन हार्मनी वेन देर इज अ फीलिंग ऑफ सेल्फ रेगुलेशन इन द सेल्फ एंड देर इज हेल्थ इन द बॉडी फॉर दैट सेल्फ रेगुलेशन वट दैट मीन्स इज दैट वी टेक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर द बॉडी टू नर्चर प्रोटेक्ट एंड राइटली यूटिलाइज इट यूटिलाइज इट फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ द सेल्फ एंड वेन वी डू दैट देर इज हेल्थ इन द बॉडी एंड देन द बॉडी ऑफकोर्स विल एक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द सेल्फ it already does act according to the self but what this means is that you know if i ask the body to jump it is able to jump if i ask the body to run it is able to run not that this is hurting back is hurting i can't stand straight i can't bend down touch my toes all that is not there you know whatever is normally gravitationally possible the body is acting according to the self and the parts of the body remain in harmony and of course this program we just discussed so i won't go into that um some questions uh, that we can try to look at many of these questions come uh, and some of these we've discussed in the frequently asked questions also so maybe uh, you know you can answer some of these because questions like this may come up from the students is self regulation the same as self control or self restraint what would you say anybody would like to you know um talk about this yes pavai ji yes good evening self regulation will go a long way uh, rather than self control or self restraint if we are controlling ourselves against our uh, 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 longing for that it might not work maybe one day two days uh, we can have that self control it will not go in the long run but if we understand all these things like uh, you rightly said there is a trade off and uh, so we have to if we are understanding it and uh, from within uh, we are regulating then it will be going a long uh, run for the first yes, yes. anybody else would like to see uh, i think uh the i think self regulation is a sense of responsibility to nurture the body uh whereas yes. self control and self restraint may not have that same uh, uh intention self control and hmm. self restraint uh uh cannot may, may not necessarily be in, for nurturing the body yeah what i would uh, put it as uh, you know what you are trying to say i'll just put it in uh, other words that you know when we have the right understanding then with that right understanding we have the right feeling when we have the right feeling as part of that right feeling is that feeling of responsibility towards the body so we are willingly taking on this responsibility of regulating self regulating when we say self control or self restraint it is almost like we don't want to do it but we are forced to do it so in the case of self regulation there is no force i am making that choice very willingly with that understanding that this is what is nurturing for the body uh in the last session uh, we heard about observing the self by the self and again i will say this is just one of the ways so here we are trying to observe the self and the body by the self so we can try to see in our you know day to day activities that you know we've been talking about this self and the needs of the self and the activities in the self and we've been talking about the body the body we are able to see the self through the gross eyes we are not able to see but even with closed eyes if we try to look at the self we may be able to see the activities in the self so we've been talking about desires thoughts expectations and what are these desires what are thoughts what are expectations now we have to practically try to see this try to see these activities within the self and that part is the observing of the self by the self when it comes to the body we can try to see the body as a separate reality 
that it is existing you know it is not a like a clubbed human being there there are these are two realities the self is one reality the body is an another reality and how am i able to you know see that the body is there when i look through the eyes i open the eyes i can see you know this body is there what does that mean seeing the body i am actually reading that sensation the sensation of sight that reflection of the body whatever i am seeing is there in the eyes and i am reading that sensation and making some interpretation out of it similarly when i touch something if i touch one part of the body then through the sensation of touch i am making you know taking some meaning out of it and i am uh, able to observe the body in this way so that way if we try to look at it we are able to observe the body only by sensation by seeing by touching and so on some sensation through that we are seeing the body when we say seeing we only think of seeing through the eyes but that is also a sensation so um what i would say is just try to observe the self and the body as two distinct realities that are in association although we may not be able to observe this for ourselves in detail but uh you know this interaction between the self and the body is in the form of instructions so i am giving some instructions to the body the body is following those instructions we can try to see that for ourselves so when i want to take some work from the body i give it instruction get up so in the morning we can see for ourselves you know when we tell the body get up do we really get up at that time or are we sort of just laying back and then we say the body was too tired so is the body too tired to get up or am i not really taking responsibility so the same thing if i have to get up and catch a train i give the instruction to the body to get up the body gets up no matter how tired it is why because i think it is important so like that we can try to observe that we are giving some instructions to the body and this is in the form of information some sensation we are reading from the body this is also in the form of information and this interaction is only in the form of information but ultimately if we look at step 3 who is deciding to give the instructions who is deciding to read the sensations then it is i who is deciding to give the instructions to the body and it is i who is deciding to read certain sensations from the body only those sensations which i consider important so all these decisions are mine so i um you know if i decide to keep a fast then i still you know the sensations of hunger will still happen in the body but i don't pay attention to them why because i have already decided i don't want to eat today so i consider my decision important so i don't pay attention to this and the body is able to go fine the whole day without food so these things we can start observing so this is what i wanted to say there were also some um uh practice sessions that uh, we didn't get a chance to do but uh, you can think about this maybe you can uh, take a screenshot of this practice session that in the last three years recall the number of times that your body has been in disharmony and what steps were taken to restore the harmony of the body now if you were to take full responsibility for your body that means you had the feeling of self regulation then what kind of daily schedule would you have and how much attention would you pay and how much time would you allocate for keeping your body in good health through all of this what we just talked about so maybe you can uh, try to do these you know this is one exercise you can try to do for yourself 
and this uh, exercise for prosperity for a specific facility uh, physical facility like clothes calculate the quantity required for the family now try to see how much of the quantity is available to you is the quantity available less than equal to or more than the required quantity and then see if you feel prosperous or you feel deprived at least regarding that particular physical facility and then try to do it for other needs so like that you can make an inventory of everything in your home and how much of the physical facility that you already have is being rightly utilized this you can see and you can involve your family also in this and come to some conclusions regarding the meaning of this you know prosperity the role of understanding understanding the human being understanding the role of physical facility the feeling of self regulation all that and the ability of your family to identify the needs and the required quantity so this is what um, uh, i had to say i'm sorry it was a little rushed especially towards the end but if there is any immediate question probably we can take it uh, provided you know um, i think we can uh, officially close this session but if uh, anybody has questions i will be available for 5 10 more minutes is that okay parikshit bhaiya ji 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 good evening ma'am good evening yes ma'am yeah um actually just now we, uh, we have said the self uh, is giving the instruction and body is responding um mm -hmm. actually sometimes like uh, when uh, in our routine um, day to day life we want to get up uh, we use usually get up at the same time um so we are getting up but in uh, some sometimes our mind our uh, self will think uh, okay today's holiday we can um, we can sleep for some more time but still mm -hmm. our body we are we are getting up on the same time uh, mm -hmm. that i have observed in my routine this one because every day we used to get up what time the same time like even though my self is thinking that we'll get up late but my uh, body will be getting up on the same time like uh, yeah. so what is that yeah Can so who is really coming away reflection that huh? the body is lying Pardon in the bed body yeah. is lying in the bed but who is yes. coming awake who is actually <laughs> coming awake self no oh yeah self okay <laughs> not at all what happens is if something important uh, strikes us we get up if yes. something important doesn't strike us we are awake but we keep lying in bed thinking yes. okay i can relax but yes, suddenly yes. if i think oh i had to cook something quickly i get up get out of get bed. up yes isn't it so Definitely. it depends yes. on what i think is important accordingly i give instruction to the body and then the body of course follows yes yes correct absolutely yeah thank you thank you vrinda ji did you have a question uh, yes yes uh, when we say uh, right feeling uh in addition to uh, nine feelings uh, feeling of prosperity also included in that ji i'm sorry i uh, uh, when we say uh, right understanding and right feeling na so in that uh -huh. right feeling uh, in addition to uh, nine feelings uh, like trust uh, all those nine feelings are there na in addition yeah. to those nine feelings uh a uh, feeling of prosperity is also included in uh, right feelings yeah so when we are talking of nine feelings we are talking about human human relationship so the feelings that are there in human yes. human relationships now when it comes to the feeling of responsibility towards the body the feeling is in the self but the feeling of responsibility is towards the body whenever the body is involved physical facility comes into the picture so when we are yes, yes. Uh, talking of you know feeling of prosperity in relation to the body then the feeling is there in the self but it is in relation to the body how our, our, really... our own body and yes 
okay my need my my the need of the body is for physical facility and that is limited so when i have that feeling of responsibility towards the body then i want to take care of the body when i want to take care of the body there is a need for physical facility when i identify that need then i start working to accomplish that need of the body yes. so all of this that all the while the feeling is in the cell but here that feeling is that feeling of responsibility towards the body does that clarify the question yes 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 thank you 